Staying on the gridiron, Georgia Southern in the Sunshine State facing Florida Atlantic. Our Frank Slikowski has a recap. Eagle soaring south for a showdown with Florida Atlantic and Boca Raton. Georgia Southern's defense looking to set the tone. Daryl Baker Jr. with the big hit, forcing the fumble. Owls, they do fall back on that loose ball. Moments later, Tyler Bride going to come up from his cornerback position to register the sack. The Georgia Southern offense comes on the field, and they proceed to march 95 yards for a score. Jalen White with a tough run up the middle, and then it's Logan Wright capping things off with with the touchdown, Eagles take the early 6-0 lead. Second quarter, the Eagle offense on the move again. Cam Ransom on the keeper. Nice pickup. However, he's going to injure himself on the play. Looks like the ankle. He would leave the game. He would return, but he wouldn't be 100%. Georgia Southern looking to extend the lead in the red zone, but Eagles going to fumble and FAU there to recover. Georgia Southern continues to play well on defense. C.J. Wright with the sack for the Eagles. However, late in the first half, Florida Atlantic going to grab the momentum. And Kasi Perry going to hit John Mitchell for the touchdown. Florida Atlantic going to grab a 10-6 lead at the half. After the break, it was all owls. Home team with three touchdowns in the third quarter to blow this one wide open. Perry with the deep ball to Jaquan Burton for the touchdown. And it was a rough Saturday in South Florida. Georgia Southern falls to FAU 38-6. First off, embarrassed. Um, you know, uh, at Georgia Southern, you don't you don't get beat like this. Uh, Thirty-eight to six. Uh, a lot of soul searching got to be done, and to be honest with you, it starts at the top. All ten fingers pointing at me, and we got to go figure it out because this is embarrassing. Up next for the Eagles, it's a trip to Fayetteville, Arkansas, to face the Arkansas Razorbacks next Saturday. Reporting from Boca Raton, Florida, Frank Solkowski, WJCL 22 News.